All right, it is Monday, April the 8th, a date people have had circled on their calendars for quite some time. It is the event of all events, the solar eclipse. We've got field teams in the field from Quebec, in Ontario, in New Brunswick, and we've got a few of them joining us right now. We're going to start off in Niagara Falls, where we have the Victoria Fenn Alvarado. You've got a special guest. I've got to ask, at Victoria, the anticipation and the sides of the crowds, i got to believe our building. <laughs> oh, the anticipation is building, especially for our Eclipse viewers here in Niagara Falls. Tell me, why is this such an exciting time for you? You've had this planned for a little bit now. Yeah, hey, we booked this about in a year in advance. Uh, our son, uh, he mentioned that about this eclipse and we can wait. And uh, we here since yesterday and hoping the clouds will clear and then uh, we'll have a really great view. Just early up in the morning to see how the things are. People are really gathering up here. It's really, really nice. So let's just fingers crossed that we'll have a clear skies to catch a really good glimpse of a solar eclipse today. <laughs> Here's to hoping that the clouds clear out. You are correct about that. Thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. here, and I hope that you get a good view today. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Take and care. from Niagara, we'll go all the way to Miramichi, New Brunswick, where Nathan Coleman has some party plans under what looks to be mostly blue skies. Nate. Yes, uh, Chris, usually I don't like the glare in the morning, but I've never been more happy to see it. I had the sun visor down. It is bright out here, and we had fresh snow, so uh, that will be an, uh, neat to see in the foreground of this big eclipse party happening at the Miramichi Airport. They're expecting up to 6,000 people. Uh, there are people as far away as Australia who came here to New Brunswick, and they picked the right destination because we've got those clear skies and uh, so much excitement here. And, uh, you know, I've got the filter on the camera. I can't wait to get some pictures and, and be live throughout this event. It's exciting times, Chris. Yeah, absolutely it is. And the final stop here, we go to Cornwall, Ontario, where a storm hunter Mark Robinson is. Now, Mark, you're in Cornwall now, but are you going to be staying there through this afternoon? No, I think we're going to be half to head a little bit east. We want to get away from the clouds, Scott. I can see the clouds back there. Yeah. Tell me about those real quick. Uh, they're coming in really fast, and we want to get ahead of them, so we can't stay here. For yeah, so we're going to go a little bit east into the eastern townships, and uh, I, think, I think we'll be ahead of the clouds, uh, Chris. I have just got my fingers crossed. All right. Thank you very much, Scott. And uh, Mark, we take a look here at your forecast, and this is the path of totality. Every city and town located within this are in there. Look at Newfoundland. It's a chilly one. Uh, still quite a bit of cloud cover into Newfoundland because of a low pressure system there. And the low pressure system in the upper Midwest has been spreading those clouds eastwards across southern areas of Ontario as well. Now, if the clouds are high or medium, you can still get a good show. You can get some dramatic changes in the cloud cover. You can clearly see the moon shadow coming in, but it's those thick, low clouds that really the best you're going to get is almost like someone turns down the dimmer switch. Uh, but here's a look regardless of where we're expecting the best conditions again in the gray it's that fair to poor but not a write-off it's in that uh, turquoise color that the things look to be at the optimal best